Got a warning tonight from home, from uh, for homeowners rather on Long Island. Scams targeting utility customers are on the rise. PSENG Long Island says this year more than 1,000 customers reporting get purported getting scam calls, an increase of 75 percent from the year before. So how do you avoid becoming a victim? Seven year size Nita Pineda is here with some answers. Nina? Oh, yeah, this is a huge spike, and they trick you by scare tactics. Mostly everyone carries a balance on their bills, so beware of someone. Calling calling and threatening to shut you down because you owe. Utilities do not call you with warnings. Neither does the IRS. It's a process that takes a long time and no one asks you to pay by buying a scratch off card at CVS. I received this call that, you know, within 30 minutes, my electricity is going to be cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and inform the technicians out on the field. Michael Abrahams jumped when he thought the lights would go out on his brand new business. I'm thinking of the best way to keep things on. So you did it. So I did it. What he did was give 400 bucks to a cunning con man posing as a PSEG Long Island rep. They directed me to uh, go to a, my local Walgreens or CVS, um, take out what's called a money pack card. That was the only way they could process the payment immediately. But before you judge, look and listen. This is how the scammer's caller ID comes up. And this is what they heard calling back a different number they were given. Thanks for calling the PSEG Long Island. To get started, please say or enter your account number or customer ID. It's the same voice, same hold music, exact same instructions heard when calling the real customer service. To get started, please say or enter your account number or customer ID. And these guys are slick. Michael recorded the call. I gave you my name earlier. My name is Cedric Miller. I'm the disconnection manager. Would you be able to come to Riverhead? Because I can't give you that much of an extension. Um, what I can do, if you want, you can go ahead and instead of coming here to Riverhead, um, you can process the express payment. He purchased the money pack card and gave them the code on the back, but the very next day, the swindlers were trying to get more money. And I received a second call stating that the process, the payment from the day prior did not go through either. Uh -huh. And now I need to make a double payment. I need to make my payment in full. This time, Michael wasn't about to be fooled twice. No, that's when I started realizing something was wrong. The big takeaway, if you get a call fishing for payment, first move, hang up. Then call back using the customer service number, the one printed on your bill. Be wary of any emails that appear to be from the utility. They could ask you to click on attachments. They're designed to spoof you and then steal your identity. The last tip off to rip off, if you ever get a request to pay by using a money card, iTunes, Apple, Bitcoin, Western Union, Don't do not do it. do it. It's always, always a scam. Back always, to you. Always, always. 100%. <laughs> we can't say it enough. Okay, Nina.